Hello, folks. Here I go with another game against, um... Whatever, I'm down 2-1 in this stupid match. Must, uh, play better this game. I forget how this line goes. I think... I think Queen E2 is fine. I can't remember. Maybe it was E5 and then Queen E2. But what's wrong with this position? No idea. Hmm, let's put the bishop here. Put a rook on E1. How bad can that be? Maybe I, uh, all right, I'll take it. He may just take things in e4. Ah, uh, somehow this move, I guess it's okay. We'll go queen e7, oh, queen c8, hmm. I feel like I should have some small edge here. We both have nice bishop. Oh, yeah, I have a nice d3 bishop. His bishops are pretty good. But bishop g5 followed by some attacking ideas looks looks irritating. Uh, I, I like this move. I have some vague threats like taking the d7. I think it's pretty good. Because uh, he can't take my knight because of um, bishop takes h7. I don't know, maybe he should sack an exchange, like just take on b2. We'll see what happens. But, and then I'll take on f8 and go bishop e4, I believe. Because you want to take away his duke, his two bishops. You know, one bishop's much weaker than two. And if I can get rid of one pair of bishops, I should have a very, very nice advantage here. Like, and if I get my rook to the seventh, which I do... This should be a technically winning position now. Um, you know what? Just whatever. <laughs> no back ranks. That was totally unnecessary, of course. But I like it. I like to make moves like that. Let's put the queen here. Just to, to restrict his queen a little bit. Um, I guess he can just go rook b8. But obviously his rook's better on c8 than b8. I didn't see that move because I suck at chess. Wow, that was really stupid. All right, <laughs> that was dumb. All right, let's let's think. Yeah, maybe I can go over e six. Maybe no, you can just check me then. Oh, let's do this. He can never go to h seven. Fortunately for me, this might be really strong because queen b one check. Um, we'll see what he comes up with. If queen a3, I should have something good there. I don't... Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this guy, man. This is hard, though, because... Because, uh, I mean, I have one... He has a pawn for it, also. He has a pawn for the material. And, you know, if we trade into an... One second here. Start with this move. All right. I think g6 is very risky. But so is everything here. Oh, I'm up on time. For some reason, I thought I was down on time. I don't know why exactly. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I guess I have to take now. This feels dangerous for him. I just gotta watch out for some tricks. Like, if I... Alright, I'm gonna play... Some, uh, you know, I can't trade queens because that's a draw. I'll, like, maybe win on time somehow. This was like horrendously played, of course. I think I can do this, though. No, I can't. That loses. <laughs> um, uh, play the ridiculous passive move. All right, time to just make sure all my pieces are defended.
let's see what happens here. Uh, still up on time, which is good. Let's do this. Get a pass call on up in here. Take the pawn with check. All right, and I have lots of time, and I'm going to win. Ah, uh, this looks safe. All right, it's checkmate. I win the game. Um, it's a tough game, tougher game than it should have been because I had such a great position, but I, I blundered that C-pawn, and then he defended pretty well. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hopefully we'll have another game in this match tomorrow.